Every golfer's swing has a signature move, and Tommy Fleetwood's is his follow through. It's kind of short and a little punchy, and it looks a bit like Tin Cup's unfinished swing. Well, I have a short follow through. It has an unfinished look. The reverse C, the golden bear. Tommy's always balanced follow through is the end result of his golf swing. But to learn from one of the best ball strikers in the game, we need to understand the journey it took to get there. Let's dive in. Some people will say that follow throughs don't really matter because they happen after you've already hit the golf ball. And that's sort of kind of true, but not really. That's because even though they happen after the ball is hit, they often leave clues about what happened just before in the swing itself. The reason why Tommy Fleetwood's follow through is so important to his golf swing is because it lands him in this position right here with his left arm relatively close to his torso. Most tour players these days hit left to right fades. They like that shot because it eliminates a big left miss and the extra spin gives them a little more margin for error on miss hits. But Tommy Fleetwood grew up hitting a draw and that's still his stock shot today. He does this because if you look closely, he swings slightly from in to out or out to the right of his target. But his club face points slightly to the left of that. The difference formed between those two things creates a slightly negative face to path of about two degrees. Face to path is a metric which measures the difference of the club face direction and the direction of your golf swing. And Tommy's slightly negative face to path is right in the sweet spot for a tight draw. But when those two vectors start getting too far apart, mainly if he starts swinging too far out to the right, that's when those bullet draws start turning into big high hooks, aka the dreaded left miss. This is something Tommy used to struggle with in his golf swing. Look here at his move as a junior. His arms would often get stuck behind his body, which would force him to fling his arms all the way out to the right. He would try to time this with a big roll of his wrists. You can see it show up in young Fleetwood's follow through in what teachers call a high right exit. Look how much higher his arms are then compared to now and how much more his wrists have rolled the club over. If you look at his short follow through from face on, you can see the second big problem it helps solve. The common amateur golfer is not creating enough side bend on the downswing, but lots of junior golfers who have lots of flexibility and not much strength often struggle with the opposite problem they generate too much side bend. Tommy said that was his problem too, and you can see why. Look how Tommy's head moves severely down and back on the downswing. That move would leave his upper body way behind his lower body. That's what caused him to swing so far out to the right. Nevertheless, Tommy Fleetwood is really talented and he was a top junior golfer because he learned that move really well. But his golf swing, it could be inconsistent and at times uncontrollable. Tommy's short follow through forces Fleetwood to keep his upper body more centered and on top of the ball as he turns through. He'll often clear his left hip so he can use his body to push the club around him. That's a feel he talks about a lot. That allows him to swing a little into out, but never too much. Fleetwood grooved his short follow through by focusing intensely on the impact zone, the space from the club parallel just before impact to club parallel just after impact. He practiced dialing in this part of his swing by hitting lots and lots of punch shots, so much that that abbreviated punch shot follow through just kind of gradually became his actual follow through. He'll often pair these punch shots with his impact zone driving range drill that shows up on social media anytime he's warming up. The sticks are there from preventing his downswing from getting too into out, and the kind of double check to make sure his club face and swing path is right where he wants it to be. Years of hard work and repetition taught Tommy that sticking his finish, like a top class gymnast, is a crucial part of his routine. And that's what he does. He sticks the finish over and over again. It's the secret that has allowed Fleetwood to play within the fine margins that other players just can't and has transformed him into one of the most dialed and best ball strikers in the game today.